Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Port Astra. Today I'm going to be doing some dailies and just kind of taking care of things around town. I don't really have any huge goals um, for the town necessarily, so I think I'm just going to walk around and see what's see what the villagers are up to, uh, maybe, maybe think about what I want to do next. So I'm going to check the mail here because I got something, oh I got, oh I got a letter from Flick. Um, it says, Nami, patron of the arts. Behold, my piece inspired by the peacock butterfly is at last finished. I worked tirelessly to capture its likeness for you, and I hope you enjoy it. May it bring bugs even further into your heart. Flick, the arthropod artiste. All right, so Flick actually came to my town um, the other day, and he um, asked me to collect some bugs. I was able to sell them to him for a pretty good price. Um, and I also submitted three peacock butterflies to him to create this little um, peacock butterfly model. So you can see it's it's pretty big. It's a lot bigger than uh, the butterflies are actually in the game. So that's pretty cool. I actually have a lot of stuff in my pockets right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put them into my storage just so I have some empty pockets um, ready to go for when I pick up some more resources and stuff like that. So let me oops, drop this stuff off. Some of the stuff I think I might actually, um, oh, actually this is from outside, so I'm gonna leave it. Some of the stuff I'm going to probably sell later because it's not stuff that I necessarily want anymore or it's stuff that I found in balloons and things like that um, that I might not really need. So I'm gonna put this stuff away. I'll keep the bar butterflies out since I will probably sell those right away but I did want to sort through all the furniture that I'm putting into storage later um, just in case my friends might want it or something like that oh I do have this cassette player so I actually really love this cassette player let me show it to you I'll just set it out here for now I don't really have a good place for it right now but look at this adorable I can't tell which I like more the record player or the cassette player they're both adorable and retro and pink, so I'm definitely going to keep them both. But for now, I think I will just put that in the storage until I get more space so that I can, um, so that I can, you know, put it somewhere cute and stylish. This inflatable sofa, I have to show this to you guys. I found it in Timmy and Tommy's shop. It is the weirdest thing. Look at this, it's puffy, it's bright purple. It's not really a sofa, you kind of lie down on it. It's it's so ugly, so I think I'll probably sell this. What a weird piece of furniture. I just had to buy it and see what it looked like. My husband sent me this in the mail and he was like, you drop this. Look at this. The audacity. The audacity. He sent me this. Can you believe that? So I'm going to put that into storage too. Um, and then I'm also going to s sort my inventory a little bit. I don't like how everything's out of order. A lot of my tools broke um, the last time I played and I haven't gotten around to actually crafting new ones. So I'm going to have to do that during this um, let's play. This electronics kit I'm actually going to send to my friend because she is super into like tinkering and stuff like she does a lot of cool stuff with like video game consoles and things like that so i thought this would be super cool to give her so she has an electronics kit in the game too um that looks good so i think i'm going to go out do you guys like this little um desert princess outfit i'm wearing it's literally called desert princess outfit it looks exactly like princess jasmine's outfit i absolutely love it it came in a couple of other colors um, so that's so funny. Oh, Sahara's here. Cool. I'll talk to her in a sec, but let me talk to Bo because I do want to talk to all the villagers. Hi, it's me, Bo. Let's chat. I'm gonna go real hard today. Gonna play hard, snack hard, yell salt like hard. Wow. Well, good luck with that. Let me grab my- oh, I don't have a shovel. It broke. I need to craft one. Um, because I have a money- a little money spawn point. I think I broke my shovel because I was- getting a lot of um, rocks yesterday and I was trying to collect all of the resources from them and I think I think I just used up the shovel 
I'm not crazy about the breakable tools. I know we will probably find some like re like recipes for better tools. I am just wishing that would happen. Oh, I have a shovel. Great, a backup one. I'm just hoping it will happen sooner than later because um, I am not thrilled with this whole like crafting a new thing every time. I heard that the gold tools break as well. And I'm wondering if that's true. If anyone knows for certain, um, let me know in the comment section because does that mean, I always assumed that the gold tools would be like the best tools but um, if they aren't, does that mean we're going to have to keep crafting like tools forever? I'm gonna need a new fishing rod. I don't remember what the recipe is. I know I need tree branches to craft the flimsy fishing rod and then I need an iron nugget. Okay, let me go grab that really quick out of my inventory and we'll take that and then let's go out and craft my missing tools. So, let me go here. I think I had the extra shovel in my inventory because I visited someone's town and they had the updated Timmy and Tommy shop and um, they had outdoorsy tools. It was like outdoorsy shovel, outdoorsy um, fishing rod and stuff like that. So I switched to all of that and put the rest of my stuff in storage. But all of that has broken. I thought the outdoorsy stuff would last longer, but I can't really tell. Maybe it has, and I just didn't notice. All right, looks like we're good to go. There, perfect. You can actually customize the tools. Um, I think you can make them different colors, but customization kits are a little bit expensive. Um, so I haven't been customizing them because I they break so easily. So I don't really have a need to have like a cute one for now. Hello, you are calling me Sahara, for it is the name I have carried for as long as I have carried these rugs. I bring these rugs from my home, which is far, to help you decorate your home, which is near. I have small rugs, large rugs, mysterious flooring and wallpaper. Oh, how surprising you will find it. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to purchase the small rug first, because sometimes um, you get duplicates. And I just want to make sure that this isn't a duplicate. Let's see. I have been doing a little time traveling um, back and forth, like one day forward, one day back. And sometimes it can be a little confusing. It seems like Sahara will sell the exact same items, um, even if you time travel like back and forth to the same day. So I wanna make sure I'm not getting, yeah, it looks like she has the same set of stuff. So I'm not gonna purchase anything from her, except, you know what? You know what is different every time? The mysterious wallpaper and flooring so i have gotten a couple of really cool mysterious wallpaper and flooring um i got chocolate wallpaper it looks so delicious and then i also got this cloud flooring and it actually has moving swirling clouds it like it's almost like a mist i ended up giving it to my husband because he has like a little fortune telling room and it looked super good in there i love that they have like 3d like in motion wallpaper and stuff um so if you want to buy the wallpaper without tickets, it costs 3,000 bells. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and just see what I get. I'm going to do one wallpaper and one flooring today. Hopefully I get something good. Some stuff is like a real hit and some kind of stuff is a real miss. So hopefully I get a couple hits and not like dirt floor or something like that. I mean, I don't think they will actually give me dirt floor, but... I've definitely seen some stuff that looks kind of ragged and I don't really want that. I want like the cool motion uh, wallpaper and stuff. So let's go take it over to my house and see what I got. I also wish that Bo was in his house because I did send him some better flooring. He kind of had like a dirt floor. Oh, let's get this balloon. He had a dirt floor earlier um, and I was like, ugh, this is, this is not good. You can do better than that. So I sent him over a wooden knot floor. Ooh, almost got it. Oh my gosh, is it over me? There we go. I sent him a wooden knot flooring and I'd love to see if he actually used it. What did I get? Bamboo wand. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So this is the one that lets you um, change your clothes. 
You need to collect star fragments though. I don't know. For, so this one you need to collect star fragments for sure. But I don't know about this one. Oh, it still needs star fragments. I think I have one. You have to wait till you um, see some shooting stars in the evening. And then you basically make sure you don't have any tools on your hand. And then you press A when you see the shooting star. And you'll basically make a wish. And keep pressing A every time you see shooting stars. And make as many wishes as you can throughout the night. Because the next day when you walk around your beach, you will actually find those star fragments. And that's what you end up using to create the wands. And the wands are so cool because it lets you... Um, put together a bunch of outfits that you can change into at any time. You just wave the wand and it will let you select the outfit that you have kind of put together in advance and then you can change into it immediately. And that's so neat because if you want to, let's say it starts raining or something and you want to change into your raincoat outfit, you can do that in a snap. It's so cool. I haven't collected enough, um, I haven't collected enough star fragments to be able to do that yet, to craft the wand yet. So. Um, so it looks like I got train station flooring. So let's take a look at what it looks like. Oh, it's literally like train tracks and the platform. Wow, what a cool little um, flooring. I wonder, hmm, it'd be neat to see if you could make like a train station house. That would be kind of cool. I'm going to put back my flooring. Um, that is so cool. And then the wallpaper I got is palace wall. Oh, interesting. I've I've seen this in um, in at least Happy Home Designer. I don't think I've ever gotten this in New Leaf, or I might have, but just never purchased it. But I do definitely remember this from from Happy Home Designer. I'm trying to see this, it does have sort of a weird like three D effect. That's cool. Very neat. Um, I don't think I'll be using it, but I'll definitely hang on to them in case I have a villager come in who would love this stuff. And like I said before in my previous episode, I do plan on making extra like player characters just to have themed homes around my island. So now that I have that train station flooring, I'm really thinking like, I wonder if I can make a train station. Even though we won't have an actual train, it'd be kind of neat to like make a little terminal. All right. Oh, here's Gladys. Let's talk to her. Well, hello, Stretch. I try to be a good listener. You can talk to me anytime. Oh, thank you. So they have been asking. I, I have been having the option to ask them if they want this. Um, and this means that there's something in your inventory that you could offer them as a present. Um, but I actually want to keep most of this stuff. I don't know what they could be. I guess it wants me to give them the butterflies and stuff, but I actually need the money. So I have been ignoring that option just so that I can go ahead and sell those. Let's talk to Pinky. How are you doing? I want to chat. Did you know the moon is about 235,000 miles away? I'm going to walk around Port Astrochore until I walk that far. Just call me Moon Bear. Well, good luck with that. Mm, I talked to Bo already. So let me walk around the beach a little bit. I want to try to find the message in a bottle. Um, I did put a little lighthouse here. Oh, another balloon, but it's over the ocean. I'm going to have to wait. Um, but I did put another little lighthouse here. Um, the scale is really weird. It's obviously decorative because like, how do I even get in here? I would have to like eat an Alice in Wonderland cake or something to shrink down to be able to fit in here. I'm not crazy about the color palette that I got for a lot of my town items, but you can trade. Um, you can actually pick it up and drop it at other people's towns. So if you have a friend or something who has a better looking um, town decoration item, like lighthouse or the phone box or something like that, you can trade with them if, if you want to. Um, that looks like it. Will it fall over the river if I shoot it down? I think it's, I think it's safe. I think it might be safe. Hopefully. Oh, very close to the river. Oh my gosh. What did we get this time? A pedal board. Oh, this is like for music. Let me see. I think this is for music. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, my husband has one of those in his house. That's neat. Um, I'll hang on to that. Oh, Sheldon's here. So let me go talk to him as well. 
Yo, you've yeah, been training? Yeah. Cardio? What's the latest? The weather really gets the muscles glistening. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Oh, I did get this cute little um, menu chalkboard from, I think it was Brafina the other day. So I set it up over here. I think it really pulls together the outdoor cafe that I set up outside of Bruce, uh, outside of um, Blathers Museum. I'm still holding out that there will be like an official cafe with Brewster, but in the meantime, I hope this gives my villagers a fun little place to sit and relax a while. Um, I did see Burfina actually sit here um, the other day, and that was so cute that they actually sit. I was thinking about turning these around so you can actually see their side profile because when she was sitting, she was it was kind of like the back of her head. So I might do that at some point. Um, what else? I did also get the Sable Sisters or the Able Sisters um, store. So I wanna do a little shopping in there and I also set up these snack and drink machines out here by Timmy and Tommy's shop. I'm gonna get more coral fencing and kind of build more of a enclosure around this so that it looks more finished. But I'm also planning on getting like a bench of some kind to build in front of here so people can, you know, sit, sit here and chill while they're having a snack and a drink. And then my marketplace is still in progress. I got this phone box. Um, I think that looks really cute there. Um, but I need, I do need to build more stalls and I gotta put this in a more strategic location. I feel like this is kind of weird. I moved it out so I could make room for the phone box and didn't really, didn't really arrange it yet. But I think I'm gonna move that cart because it, it just looks out of place. Get another peacock butterfly. These sell for a decent amount, so I'm trying to get as many as I can whenever I see them. So let me let me go sell them. And let's go check out what's in the store. And then I'll continue my tour of my beach and try to find that message bottle. Yeah. Oh no, my stuff is sold already. Oh, it's because I played earlier. I forgot. Okay. I want to sell my butterflies. Sell this, sell this, and this, and I think I'm gonna sell that inflatable couch. This one. And then what is this? Oh, this is the pedal board. I'm gonna hang on to the pedal board. <gasps> 10K, nice. All right, we're good to go here. Let's go check out the Evil Sisters and see what they have for sale. Look at that funny little traffic jacket, like a traffic vest. I love that they have like stylish clothes and then very functional clothes too. So you can really dress up as whatever you want. What is this? Stage hand hat. That is interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go into the dressing room and check out what kind of outfits we have for sale today. I'm so happy that I finally got the shop because I've been basically doing all of my clothing shopping at other people's towns and it is so nice to be able to, oh my goodness, to be able to just do that on my own. This is so cute. I'm going to get like all three colors probably. So adorable. What else do we have? Some outdoor hats, baseball hats, these little bun wigs, bubble gum. I have the white bubble gum, but I might get the pink. What is this? HMD. <gasps> Cute little house slippers. Yes. Well, I definitely want the house slippers. And I was also thinking about getting this outfit so I can match Pinky. And I want to see if she'll act, like say anything to me. Like if she'll be like, hey, you're copying my style or something like that. So I think I'm going to get this and then I'm going to get the little buns that go with it. So one thing that I do find a little bit annoying about the dressing room is if there is something that you do like, like these skirts, and I want like all three of them, you have to go in and out of the dressing room like multiple times. You can only buy them one at a time. Um, so that is a little frustrating. At least that's what I have noticed. If you know how I can buy them in batches, let me know because I just, I don't know if I'm missing something or if it's just that tedious. 
So I'm going to go with this look and then I'm going to talk to Pinky and see what she says. Adorable. So cute. So let me go back in there. And oh, she, oh, that's so cool. So I haven't had um, the shop until more recently and she will take the stuff you're wearing and put it in your storage at home. That's so great. When I've only been buying things from other people's stores in other towns, so she just puts the stuff into my inventory. But I guess if you shop at your own store in your own town, she'll put it directly into your storage. Amazing. That's so convenient. So I'm gonna purchase this. Oops, I wore it, that's fine. <laughs> she sent it to my house. She sent my pants to my house. And then let me go get the blue one. I don't know about the yellow. The beige looks a little faded. I might get it, but we shall see. And then also I wanted to get a pair of the slippers. So let me go grab the stripy slippers. I think I'm only gonna get the pink ones, but I really, really like the yellow ones too. Ugh, this is a thing. When this game has some cute stuff in pastels, I end up just wanting to buy all of the colors. Oh, I like this pink more than this. I think I might get this one. But I don't want to wear them. I'm going to just have it mailed to my house. <laughs> I still have to go back to my house and get the pants, but oh well. All right, so what, another cute thing is like, you can um, buy these outfits, I think, which is neat. Let me talk to Sable. If you need something, could you talk to the other hedgehog, please? I'm really wondering what I end up unlocking by talking to her because before you would unlock the QR code machine, but I'm pretty sure you can access that like right now. Yeah, see? Okay, so you do need to have online access to um, use the machine, which makes sense, but I think a lot, of, a lot of us are already using online in order to be able to play with others, so. Let's see, what, I mean, go back to my house, get my pants, and I'm gonna go find Pinky. And let's see if she says something. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised by all of the little interactions and activities that the villagers do. Um, if you clap when a villager is singing, they get really happy about it and will clap too. If you put like a radio outside, the villager will, a villager will come over and sing along. There's just a ton of really cute little interactions like that. Um, I've seen like videos online where like a villager will will encounter a butt, like a scorpion or something, and they'll like freak out a little bit. And I think it's so, so cute. Okay, those are the only sandals I have, so I'm just going to stick to those. All right, let's see. I know Pinky is out here. I just saw. Do you guys see the adorable little um, bow she's wearing? I don't think she was wearing that when I first met her, so it's neat that they changed their clothes. I'm pretty sure I've seen her in other tops as well, not only this one. So I love that. I love that they changed their clothes. Did I hear your friend's name is Bean and they're from K12? I know it's a mondo pain to get here, but it'd be fab if they visited again. Oh, <gasps> so she didn't seem to comment on my outfit. I'm literally dressed like you. I look like your biggest fan. So cute. Okay, let me grab this little guy again because I need money. I am in severe debt. I have to pay off my house. I haven't paid off anything. I expanded it by one more room. It's in the back. I'm trying to turn that room into a, um, into a bathroom, but it's so big. The room is kind of big for a bathroom. So I'm not really sure. Oh, here we go. I'm not really sure if I will actually stick stick with that plan or if I will turn it into a room that happens to have like a bathroom partitioned off. Dearest whoever you are, I was on an aimless stroll when an idea for the most wonderful DIY recipe came to me on the breeze. I cannot keep this idea to myself. So I have placed it in this bottle. May it inspire you to action. Your muse, Allie butter churn okay interesting if i get a villager that kind of has like a farm style um i will i will put that in their house let's try to get this fish it looks pretty big 
Hopefully it's something cool. I don't think it's, I think I'm too far. Fishing in this game is a little hard. I mean, it's, it's very similar to New Leaf, but I have been playing Pocket Camp for months and months, and I'm so used to how the fish in Pocket Camp are just basically magnetically drawn to your fishing pole. What do we get? Ooh. I do already have this for the museum, so I don't need to donate that. But it looks like we got some Nook Miles. There we go. Angling for perfection. I have fished a hundred fish. Nice. Cool. I love getting the Nook Mile achievement. I love that we can not only get the achievement, but it actually helps us towards unlocking some cool stuff for our town, like purchasing cool stuff for our town. Let me get this shovel. Oh my gosh, a blue butterfly. Actually, I'm going to go catch this first because these are worth a lot of money too. Hey, are you kidding me? I have never seen the butterfly actually fade away. Normally, they kind of just start running away like very slowly. and I've always been able to catch them. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that was 4,000 bells down the drain. Oh well, I'll make it back somehow. So let me check what is in this rock. I got some clay, some iron nuggets, regular stone, more iron nuggets, and another stone. Nice. I don't mind getting clay because I'm actually, that's actually the resource that I don't have very much of and it's pretty useful you can make pitchers and vases pots and stuff like that so i like to decorate so having materials to decorate with is always or materials to be able to craft something to decorate with is always good you guys see this little tricycle Bo gave it to me so the villagers have been hearing about my current project from tom nook which is to try to get kk slider to come and do a concert on the island um so they have been offering me like advice and also giving me items that they think will, you know, make the town look better. The only thing is like some of the items have been very random. Like Bo gave me a tricycle after telling me he thinks we need like a lounge area. And I was like, what does this have to do with it? And then Brofina did give me that menu cafe chalkboard thing, which was awesome. I love how it looks with the outdoor cafe. Um, but I think I lost my streak because I time traveled. Um, but Sheldon gave me a, a can, just a metal can. I was like, how is this helpful? So let me check what fences I have today. Barbed wire and iron and stone, which I'm not super interested in. And then let me check what kind of shopping stuff we have. Garbage can outdoor table and then some clothes oh these denim cutoffs are cute they're in white i do have blue ones of them and then kk metal so i guess nothing i really need right now i'm also going to check the recycling box it's actually worth checking the recycling box um, fairly often because you will find some cool stuff like look there's a wallpaper in here it's the beaded curtain wall which i don't love so i'm going to leave it in here so it doesn't clog up my inventory but if you had a villager that you wanted to give this to, that's a great way to get some extra stuff. Um, and then for some reason, there is always cardboard boxes in here, which you actually can use as crafting material. So it's not the worst. If you want to have some cardboard boxes, you can create like the small cardboard box set, which is like basically a box with a smaller one on top, but it's a little angled and it looks really cool. It's like a stack. And if you wanted to make an area look a little like industrial, like I used to have a spot here where you could drop off all of the stuff you wanted to sell after the store is closed. Cause I didn't want to sell it in this box because it's 20% less. So I basically put a little garbage bin here and then the stack of cardboard boxes to kind of make it look like a service area. And then I stacked everything I wanted to sell over here. But since I'm repurposing this area into like a little snack place, a vending machine area with some chairs, um, I don't really need it anymore. I'm probably gonna just sell the cardboard boxes or maybe ask my friends if they want it. Um, oh, I also made a bridge. Finally paid that off. So it's over here. I'm so, so happy with it. I love the 
brick and the like the railing I guess it just looks so, so nice so polished so I have some rocks here that I need to pick and then I also do have a new villager named Hans okay so the story behind Hans is and why he's all the way out here is a little crazy but basically I was trying to move in Filbert you guys know Filbert is one of my favorite villagers and I really wanted him to live in my town and since I unlock the um, amiibo functionality for the campsite I was actually able to get that started so the amiibo functionality oops is totally different in this game so in new leaf all you had to do was you know have the amiibo card go to wisps um, magic lamp and then bring him up and have the villager come over to your town and then you could ask them to move oh no my shovel so super easy super simple they would basically move in the next day for this one you actually have to call the villager over to your town in the campsite three times another thing you have to keep in mind is that for a villager to move in there has to be a plot of land set aside for them so if you go to tom nook you ask him about infrastructure and then tell him you want to sell some land and this is the funny thing i was a little bit annoyed by this but in order to set aside a plot for a villager to move in you have to pay 10k bells why am i paying to move people to this island i don't understand why am i paying for land anyway so I had taken down my entire workshop that used to be here. That's why this work table is kind of chilling out here in the middle of my garden because I wanted Filbert to move in here. And I set up the plot of land and then I went and invited him to the campsite. When you invite them to the campsite, they will ask you to um, craft an item that they want to see in the town. And if you don't have the item, it's the like recipe for the item. It's okay. They will give you the DIY recipe and then you just have to go make it. And you have to make sure you make it that same day because they'll be gone the next day and they really want to see it that day. So basically you craft the item, take it over to them, and then you can have a chat with them and invite them to your town. Um, but the first time you invite them, they'll say like, cool, invite me again. I need some time to think about it. So you just like repeat the process until you get to that third visit, I think. I think it's three visits. Um, so I had like put this plot of land here with like a little fence. It basically has a rope fence around it and it says like Nook Inc or whatever. And that's basically where the villager is going to move it. I want Filbert to be my next door neighbor. So I put a plot of land here and then I started the whole process. And then, so I was like time traveling a little by like a day so I could just get him in town. And by the time I was like, got to the day where I was going to have him do the third visit, someone had moved in here and i was like excuse me i thought i didn't realize that they could just move in like villagers like random villagers can just move in but they can and it was hans and i was like why this was for filbert what are you doing here so i had to go pay 50k to move hans somewhere else so i moved him out over there by the beach so it's not the worst place to live okay he can take really nice walks every morning and um, you know, just chill out there by the beach. It's a very nice little spot for his home. I'm just a little annoyed that I had to do that at all because not only did I have to pay for land, 10K bells, I then had to pay 50K bells to move this villager that I didn't want living next to me. And then I'm gonna have to pay 10K bells more to go get another plot of land for Filbert. So basically my plan is, I'm not gonna buy the land until I am about to invite him. Like I have crafted the item that he has requested and all I have left to do is take it to him and invite him over and then I will go get the land. Because my goodness, I cannot keep paying 50K to move people out and then 10K more to get new land. Plus like if I keep doing this too often, I only have three slots of land left and I do want to move in some other villagers I'm planning on moving in, um, I'm planning on moving in Marshall as well. I think that's who will be my next one. So I'm going to move in Marshall. I want to move in Rosie and I want to move in Goldie, but there's not enough room because I already have seven villagers. I think I have seven. Um, and I, I, I think we can only have 10. I haven't heard anything contrary to that assumption. So I'm just assuming that we only get to have 10 villagers 
So let me make that shovel so I can go get those resources. But yeah, that's my little, that's the little saga of how I spent, how I'm going to end up spending 70k bells just to get Filbert to come in. This is how much I love Filbert, okay? I'm willing to spell, spend 70,000 bells to have him move in next to me. Oh, are my orange trees done? Yes! Look how luscious and bright they look. Look at that vivid orange. Yum. Okay, I'm really happy with my orchard. Um, I don't really like picking fruit. Like, I picked some fruit here because I needed to, like, move some stuff around. And I needed to, like, buff up. But I just love how delicious the fruits look. So, I'm gonna go over here and continue getting my resources. And plus, I need to... There's a money tree, like, out by my house that I need to dig up. Okay, so I'm gonna get all these resources. Hopefully I get all of them. Spamming A as much as I can. As fast as I can. And... Yes! One more iron nugget. Good, good. I'm trying to get the recipes for the iron cart. I think I have the iron cart, but I know there's like an iron kitchen. There's like a whole series of stuff. And I like how clean that stuff looks. I really want some of the recipes. But I think the best way to get them is just to maybe keep talking to villagers while they're crafting because they will ask you, oh, do you want to know what I'm making? And then they'll give you recipes. And of course, finding the messages in the bottle. Some of the balloons as well have recipes in them sometimes, which is awesome. And also I've been getting some recipes from friends like when they have duplicates, you can drop the cards on the floor so your friends can pick them up. Oh, here's another rock. So that's nice. Oh, let's get this. I don't remember if I did this rock yet. Okay, I did it. Spam, spam, spam. Spam, spam, spam. I love that this game has so much to do every day. It's really easy to just get lost and play this game for an hour or more. Just doing simple things like making sure you're talking to all the villagers or collecting your rocks for the day or doing a little fishing and bug catching. I wonder if Hans is home. I haven't talked to him yet. Oh, he is. I don't think I've seen the inside of his house yet, so I'm curious. What kind of decor does he have? Oh, whoa. This is neat. Oh my gosh. This wallpaper is actually moving. Do you see the snow falling? I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not this. It's like, look at the tree standees. Look at these fake trees. He's like really, really committed to the like winter snow camp aesthetic yeah you made it whoa is today thursday i always feel so spacey on thursdays it's like the weekend still feels so far away but the week has been going on forever we really need a midweek weekend i agree hans please run on that platform when you run for president i will vote for you pretty cool so he's got a little propane stove a couple of campfires a sleeping bag now I feel bad for giving him a beachside um, house because clearly he's all about that cold weather and I just plunked him right near the beach where everything's all warm and balmy sorry Hans I thought this was good I thought this was prime real estate that was also away from my house okay I do have a lot of wood here you guys see this is why i set this up because I, I can just go down the line and chop the trees and it all lines up like this and it's super easy to collect the only thing is i'm leaving it here because i have a lot of wood and stuff in my inventory already and i don't really want it to take up too much space because you know i'm like addicted to clothes shopping and furniture shopping in this game so i need as much inventory space as i can have for all of that also man i really wish this fortune cookie cart actually worked. Like I really wish I could get fortune cookies from here, open them up just like I did in pocket camp. Oh, that would be the dream. Okay, let me get my shovel out. I have this little money pit here. So the other money um, tree that I planted over by the bridge, if you saw it, it was that little tiny tree. I actually planted a 10K. So I just wanted to see if that actually works, if I will get like 30k, which would be super cool because I do need that money. 
you need that money. Oh yeah, this is, I don't remember if I showed this in my last video, but I did set up a little area here in the campsite. I was hoping to create little shower stalls here and I actually bought the little shower sets. They mount on the wall in your house, but you cannot mount them to the cliffside, which I kind of assumed was gonna happen, but I said, you know what? I'm gonna order two shower sets just to make sure, just to see it doesn't work. So I just have extra shower sets now. But I'm gonna try to find a different solution because I think having these outdoor showers would be such a cool little addition to my campsite. Um, and I I know that in Happy Home Designer, there was a shower, like a shower head that actually was attached to the ground. It was like a standing shower. Um, and I think that, I don't know if that's in the game in New Horizons, but if I can find that, that would be awesome because then I could just set it out in the middle of the stall. It would be freestanding, not trying to attach to a wall. And then I could have little outdoor showers. Because um, I don't know, I think that would just make it feel even more like a camp, having these little showers. Oh yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up here. Um, I'll probably do some organizing in my inventory in a little bit because it is getting a little unruly and I have a lot of random stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode of my Let's Play. I've been having a ton of fun um, just kind of puttering around town with you all and also reading all of your very sweet comments about the town and answering your questions. Of course, if you have any questions about anything in the game, let me know. Um, if I can answer, I will. But I know there's a ton of you um, who are watching who are big Animal Crossing fans and um, are just a trove of knowledge as well. So I've been loving seeing how you guys have been interacting and sharing knowledge about the game and sharing little tips and stuff. Absolutely love that. that that's what makes me love our community. Everyone is so friendly and warm. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel. And if you stumbled across this video and enjoyed it and aren't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified um, when my next video goes up. I'm going to be planning um, on doing more of these videos. I'm going to be doing a couple of DIYs as well. Um, I just need to get the logistics of that sorted out, like camera stuff and everything. But I'm really excited to bring you guys some New Horizons DIYs in the near future. So stay tuned for that. Um, and again, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you and I hope you all have a beautiful day. I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.